Hey loves, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. And starting off with I'm back, I decided to do this like marble seashell encapsulated with poly gel with some gold leaf, a little bit of everything in this now. I really love the way they turned out. Like I said, I needed to take some time off to myself and get inspired and I have, so I'm back and ready in full swing. So I went ahead and added my base gel. I'm gonna go ahead and use Eternal Beige from Enel Couture. I really love this poly gel and it's easy to use, it's very pliable, and the best thing is that you could actually soak off this poly gel, unlike other poly gels like the car and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping my almond or mango seed just to create that French now that I want, I will be creating it in the middle finger and in the ring finger. And as you can see, I'm just applying and moving the poly gel where I want it. And I know it's very thin near the cuticle area. So I will go ahead and add another bead after I have cured this part. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start moving on with the nail and as you can see, I'm taking my sweet time, and this is in real time. This is how fast I work, and I like how it looks, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding my gold leaf sporadically around the nail. I'm not trying to cover the whole entire nail with gold leaf because I will go ahead and start adding some seashells and then add some little chameleon flakes in that nail. Like I said, if I need more gold leaf, I'll probably go in and just add more, add a little bit and then go from there. Because sometimes when you add a little bit too much, then it's just like harder to take it off opposed if you work little by little as you can see i'm gonna go ahead and use Enel couture thick base gel i forgot what it's called honestly i just have it there to use it as for nail art and it works it gets the job done so i'm just adding it really in the center to put my seashells and i'm adding this beautiful purple seashell uh, it's so pretty in person. I wish you guys could see the nails in person because you could admire them even more opposed to in the camera because it just doesn't really capture what I want to show you guys. <laughs> so then after that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this beautiful red seashell or like a burgundy color. It's still very beautiful and I'm just adding it here and there adding those two colors and that's how I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other nails and just add the seashells where I feel like it needs it and then I'll go in and add more gold leaf like I'm doing right here I feel like I need a little bit more right there and then add just a little bit everywhere where I feel like it's missing once again like I said work little by little and then just add stuff and if you feel like it's missing stuff then just keep adding don't go in all hardcore and then be like, oh man, I messed it up. That's why I said it's best to work little by little and then go from there. As you can see, I'm adding the little communion leaves or shifting glitter, whatever they're called. I got all this on eBay a very long time ago, so I wouldn't know exactly where you guys could purchase it. Um, just look up chameleon seashells and some chameleon uh, glitter and you already know leave you could easily find it on amazon too 
and I'm just adding it here and there. You're going to be seeing it up close, how it shifts. All those, everything that I put in together, it's just so beautiful. It's dimensional. It's 3D. It just looks very pretty in person. Like I said, you can't really admire it through a camera, but I'm trying to show you the best I can. So I'm going to go ahead and move on and start shaping my little almond seed so I could go ahead and start adding the other shell stuff and the gold leaf. I just wanted to add this little clip in there because I hardly ever include my filing, but I wanted to this time. <laughs> so once again, I'm adding that base gel all over the nail tip to create that beautiful French that I want. I personally love French nails. You can never go wrong with French nail. It don't matter if it's pink and white, whatever color you want to add or glitter. As long as it's a French nail, I love it. So once again, I'm just adding my gold leaf here and there. And I'm going to let you enjoy this part and then I'll be back. So I'm going to go ahead and use my car clear poly gel. You already know it's one of my favorites because it's one of the clearest poly gel out in the market at this moment. So I'm going to go ahead and start patting it down, making sure I cover all the sides of the nail, especially for this nail. Whenever you do encapsulate like big chunky items in there, you really want to make sure you cover side to side and not patting it all the way in or else you're gonna end up exposing those items that you have inside the nail or that you're trying to encapsulate. So you wanna make sure you're adding it a little bit thicker than usual. My slip solution is alcohol. I'm not using any other slip solution, just alcohol. And it works just fine. And if you wanna keep up on what I do on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I will leave a link down below in the description box where you can follow me because I'm usually on Instagram posting milk character art, how to draw and stuff like that. Just in case you guys wanna, you know, follow me. So right here, I'm gonna be showing you how I encapsulate my French nail. So I'm going to go ahead and take my liner brush and start adding little white lines around the nail. I am using Nail by Dev's white gel paint and this liner is from my nail art store. So I'm adding the little white lines everywhere on the nail. Well, not technically everywhere, just randomly where I feel like it's going to look good. And then after I've done that, I will go in with my angle brush and start kind of like blending it a little bit and i do kind of saturate my brush with base gel so it just kind of moves a little bit easier and i'm not just dragging it where i don't want to drag it and with the base gel it makes it a little bit more of a water effect or alcohol ink effect opposed to actually using alcohol inks in white i just decided to go with this because i felt like it was going to be easier so as you can see, I'm just going in with that angle brush and just kind of blending it down. This technique, I usually use it all the time, especially when I'm doing little clouds. It's very easy to create while you're using base gel on your brush or saturating your brush with base gel and just kind of using it as a watercolor 
effect. And I feel like I like the way it looks. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next nail. I'm going to do the same thing. Just adding that white lines where I feel like it's going to look pretty. ahead and add my top coat and then add a little pearl and then my little nail crystals i feel like adding that little pearl just brought the whole entire look together i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down below in the comment section what you thought about this nail design don't forget i always include a clip towards the end of the finished look of the nail design see you guys until next time bye